guys, how are you doing today? It's Ty Aino here again. I'm currently in the new Lagos International Airport and today we're going to be taking a tour of this place and I'm also going to be telling you the story behind the design of this place and everything involved with making this place look as awesome as it looks. So let's jump right in. Before we go into the video, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get all notifications. Let's get to 200,000 subscribers before the end of this month. I have lived in Lagos, Nigeria for the most part throughout my lifetime and I never really enjoyed the travel experience. The airport never really feels welcoming, especially when you arrive. I have always asked myself, why does it have to be this way? Why can't it be different? There is always that unpleasant smell and dampness in the air and I and my friends have had to sit on the floor countless times in the past. This made me never look forward to transiting through the airport and I'm sure a lot of you who watch my channel can relate to this. For a country with over 200 million people, I always felt we could do a lot better and I'm glad to tell you today that my wishes and your wishes have come to pass. We have a new state-of-the-art international airport that has a feel-good experience for a change. Now I can travel to Canada and look forward to coming back. Let me show you this amazing edifice. You guys know that I travel a lot and most of the time when I come into the international airport, I don't really get that full experience. I've been to Ghana's airport, I've been to other countries' airports and it always looks really, really amazing. So I was always waiting for the day that this was going to happen and that's why I'm really excited to show you guys this video and also show you guys the people behind the creation of this space. We have a special guest that we're going to be meeting up with today. This is Mr. Remy Dada. I don't know if you guys remember the interview I did a while back where I interviewed him and he spoke about his company. Today we're going to be talking to him and he's going to be sharing some of the insights in the design of this space. First of all, let's start from this section. And I can see a lot of cars and a lot of stuff on it. It looks like Lagos traffic. So what's the idea behind it? The key thing is, we know that the government has this initiative to create new airports and revitalize the uh, aviation space. Yeah, and FAN is doing a fantastic job doing that, right? Awesome. We wanted to make sure that each of the spaces that we did had something that was locally relevant to okay. that area. We just tried to make sure that we have different spices that oh, okay. capture Lagos. And Lagos is quite unique because Lagos is a melting pot. Yeah, right? true. People from, different, from all walks of life come to Lagos. Yeah, so true. we wanted to make sure that the design capture that. So we asked ourselves, what are the high touch things that we can do to really revitalize the space so it doesn't just look like a boring airport yeah true. So this, in a lot of colors this is not boring and <laughs> total <can't> stories <laughs> right you should actually be able to sit down and you know get a story out of it and every time you fly through the same space by the third time you might be even noticing things i didn't notice in the beginning visitors who are foreign visiting uh nigeria and coming through lagos we want to be very aspirational in things that we're projecting mm -hmm. so we had some levels here to really make it cultural but okay. also make it very futuristic at the same time. So guys, I know I've taken you through the design and the story behind most of the design in this airport. So I want to take you through experiencing this airport. As you can see, I have my bag because I'm traveling to Canada. But I'm coming back. I'm not like some of you people that will travel and will not come back again. So here is the ticketing section where you buy your tickets if you're flying out of the airport. And let me show you some other parts of this airport. So this is the departure lounge and also we have chairs here where people can currently sit down and also you get an awesome view of Lagos from this side uh, with this beautiful SVG mural on the wall and also on this side guys as you can see as we talked about before there's also a lot of artwork and now we're walking towards the ticketing section like where you check in generally where they weigh your luggage and see if you have like extra 20 kg and they tell you to pay extra money. You check in here, basically you drop your luggage on this, it weighs it, tells you if it's above. Up on this side we have a lot of offices and I think they are probably going to be airline offices. And also on this side we also have extra seats for a lot of people who are also traveling. So guys, I'm currently in the passport control section now and I'm giving you the first view of the passport control section before you come here so that you know what it looks like. So this is where I'll come with my passport and they will probably check me in. I will probably just come here. Everything is already here. There are phones, drawers. Everything looks really, really organized compared to what we had before. 
And then when I eventually scale through the eight passport control officers that are here, then I come to where they're going to check my bag. I move my bag, put it on this, and then it goes in, it comes out on this other side, and then I pick my bag up. You guys know how for certain it is after you've moved your belt and your shoes and they're just struggling, you're trying to get to your fly, you are like 30 seconds late. So there are seats here where you can sit down and just put on your shoes and have a really cool experience. I'm sure you've seen an airplane inside an airport, but have you seen an airplane inside the departure lounge of an airport? That's where we're walking to now. So the idea behind the installation uh, is airplanes in the airport is normal, but airplanes inside the departure lounge is unique, right? And the general initial idea is to take these airplanes and suspend them, right? So when you're walking through, you oh, see them okay, that's what this. The, so we have the tension cables, tension to, cables to suspend them. As the design team at Space Finish, we're thinking around how do we merge the two. They came up with this concept of infusing an airplane with an ash okay loom. Wow. And this loom is used to make fabric. Fabric, yeah, so, I can see that. So what happens is after this is suspended, we're gonna have colorful fabrics spraying out from the sides of the loom all through the different angles of the ceiling. So do you guys plan on moving into residential? Yes, so what we are trying to do is trying to just improve the quality of your life, right? And what are different touch points? You spend time in your office, you spend time traveling, yeah. you spend time at home. So we want to go to all the different uh, sectors. So right now we worked, we've done some things, some things in education, right? Okay. Uh, yeah. We are doing some things in aviation. Yeah. We've done a lot of things in offices, right? And we do see ourselves expanding into other areas, including residential in the future. Right, Space Finish will be that company optimizing your lifestyle across the different verticals that you engage in. How does your team come about all these designs? We have a fantastic team behind everything that you see that Space Finish does. Yeah. We have amazing designers, engineers, architects, project managers, right? So even the support team, marketing, accounting. And they all come together to uh, make uh, these visions a reality. And the airport is no different. You guys did an amazing job with this space. And I'm sure when people see this video, and when people start to experience, and when the airport is fully open, they will begin to appreciate the amount of work that was put into this place by everybody involved. So let me just show you guys uh, more of what the experience is like if you're traveling. So come along with me. Up on this side, we have a lot of lounges. I think this is where lounges, offices, uh, and maybe some first class lounges, like this lounge one there, and probably transfer to a hotel. If you're going to a hotel, maybe you just came in and you paid for like transfer to a hotel. That's where you see them in this section on this side. So guys, let me take you to the boarding gates. And generally, as always, you know, every airport has this, just to make sure that everybody is safe and nobody's carrying what they're not meant to be carrying into the airplane. There are currently six boarding gates here. And guys, just check it out. Look at it behind me. Just look at all the boarding gates behind me. We have three on this side, and we also have another three on this side. So generally, if your plane is not here, or if you're waiting for your plane to board, this is the section for gate two. And this is also the section for gate one. Also down there, there are also toilets and there are prayer areas for people who want to just pray. And I think everything looks really cool. Everything looks really nice. Guys, I've shown you the inside, so I also want to show you some of the exterior of this building. This is what it looks like on the outside. This is the new international airport. On this side, there's a new embankment that people are going to drive all the way from here, and they're going to drive down. 
So that side was the old airport before and now we can see the new airport. This is where departure and then arrival is on the second floor. Departure is up, arrival is here. So this is probably where people are going to drive up to draw people off for departure and down here is the arrival terminal where people are going to pick people up. So guys up on this side is the SVG panel which is the one that has the mural, the mural that you've been seeing from inside but you can't see it now because of the sunlight because you know obviously the sun is coming from this side but from inside it is really really beautiful and I will put a shot here just to show you what it looks like currently. So I'm really glad they were able to come up with this airport. Um, shout out to people in government. Shout out to Space Finish for also coming up with an awesome ideas and awesome designs. And I'm glad that we have this in Nigeria now. So at least now we don't need to start being uh, ashamed whenever we pass through the airport. So guys, that's all I have for you today. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.